Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. We took a trip out to Gulf Breeze, Florida, a well-known hotspot for UFO activity, and we stayed at the Hampton Inn and in Suites. The UFO watch party was a bust, but wait till you see what we captured on camera while looking out of our hotel room window. Here's our tour. So this is our room. Uh, we booked a standard king room and when we checked in I asked if they had any available upgrades uh, since we get that as gold members uh, of Hilton Honors and they gave us a studio suite. So we've done studio suites at Hampton Inns before and they're not all the same so uh, we actually like the way this one's laid out, so we're going to give a tour of this room and we're going to start with the basic safety features. As always, we have the peephole, we have the exit map, and we are here on the second floor. Normally we get a top floor room, but apparently there was nothing available on the third or fourth floor, but so far it's been quiet. We've just been here for a few minutes and maximum run rate of 399 we pay about a quarter of that and checkout time is 11 a.m and if you detect smoke or fire dial 911 alarm sounds like a loud siren which is what you would expect there was safety latch on the door mechanical deadbolt and then right inside the door we have a wet bar mirror over the wet bar. So here at the wet bar we have hot and cold running water. We have an ice bucket and a couple of cups. Coffee maker that's not in the bathroom which is always a good thing. Down here we have a fridge which is stocked with Gatorade and iced tea. We have a small microwave. It's a little wobbly. No time set on the microwave. Down below the microwave, a couple of empty drawers. And we have a cabinet under the sink which hides the plumbing. Nothing in there. So moving on into the little living area, we have a large pull-out couch. Big footrest. This is the air conditioning unit over here in the window. And the air conditioner is controlled by this thermostat here on the wall. The lamp here has two power outlets, uh, three and a half amp. And on the side is an Ethernet port. Although there's no Ethernet cable connected to it, I don't know whether they run Ethernet through the um, through the power cables, which I know there's a way to do that. Uh, never experienced it. Another lamp over here, another power outlet down here on the floor, or you know, on the wall, I mean. In the middle of the room, we have a television, and the television is on a mount that swivels, so you can watch from bed or watch from the couch, but not both. We have this big desk area here, and um, this is one of the unique things about this room. This lamp has two power outlets on it, and also has the Ethernet port on it. And I guess the cable comes from underneath. Uh, we have a few drawers here. And we have a table on each side of the desk. I mean, a, sorry, a chair on each side of the desk. Over here we have three more drawers. Whoops. I guess this is the dresser because there is no um, there's no dresser in this room. Over here we have 
Those are power outlets. So we have a total of five power outlets. A phone, uh, that's another ethernet port there next to the phone jack. Television remote control. But yeah, I guess that, that is the dresser because there's no dresser in this room. But there's plenty of space if you're going to put stuff in the drawer, into drawers, meaning you're probably going to leave stuff in the drawers and you'll wonder where it is when you get home. Uh, if we have a Bible in this drawer, no phone book. The bedside lamps have one power outlet. There's a clock radio. I don't know why they don't put two outlets on the lamps by the bed. And we have another telephone here. Nice artwork of a bicycle on the wall. And then we have the bathroom area. And in the bathroom area we have a vanity with a box of Kleenex, towel rack, more places to plug in, Neutrogena French milled soap, and all the Neutrogena line of body lotion, shampoo, conditioner, and mouthwash. And some bath soap. And a makeup remover wipe. We have hot and cold running water at the sink. And this right here is a closet. And of course, we got a bunch of stuff in the closet here, but um, it's a pretty big closet. We have some hangers here, laundry bag. That's an iron up there, extra bedding, ironing board, and come on around, a luggage rack. Finally, we have the bathroom, and it's a small bathroom since all it has is a toilet and a tub. Uh, we have a sterling toilet, we have towels here. Three big bath towels, extra roll of toilet paper, and some more hand towels and washcloths, and just a regular tub and shower. And we have the curved shower curtain rod that seems to be installed properly. And we gotta check out the shower head. Forgot to do that in our last hotel tour. And it's a shower massage type, well it's water pick. And it's got several different settings. So we have the valve here. Thing you pull up and water comes out the shower. And it kind of works. That doesn't really work the way it seems. But for a normal shower, it's actually got good flow. So, that's the room. And then the view outside is this. I always bump into the window. So let's take a look at what this looks like with some lights on. So this is the view in the daylight and we don't have much of a view, but from what I understand, the, uh, the golf is on the other side of those trees. Uh, it's just that we can't see it because the trees are in the way. So that's it for the view. This concludes our room tour. See the links in the description for info about the Gulf Breeze UFO incident. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.